Hello, this is a specimen showing you both the lungs and the heart in the middle, and we're looking at the anterior view. Let me just show you the posterior view here, and you can see the left lung, the heart, and the right lung. The main abnormality here is actually a vascular one, and you can see that it is located in the pulmonary vessels. So this is the aorta that is exiting from the left ventricle, and this is the pulmonary trunk, and the left pulmonary artery, and the right pulmonary artery. Let's take a closer look. We can see that there is a blood clot that has traveled over here, and the diameter is actually smaller than that of the pulmonary trunk. Um, however, it is lodged at the bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk. And this is called a saddle embolus. The origin of this embolus is from deep vein thrombosis in one of the veins of the lower limb. So what has happened is that um, what, for whatever reason, for example, immobility, post-operative state, or hypercoagulability, etc., uh, a thrombus formed in one of the veins of the lower limb and thereafter it has embolized and lodged in the pulmonary trunk and the right and left pulmonary arteries. Because of the huge size of this embolus, it obstructs the blood from going to the lungs bilaterally and this would result in sudden death. So to summarize, we have here a pulmonary embolus and because of the large size and the location at the bivocation of the pulmonary trunk, this is known as a saddle embolus. The original cause is deep vein thrombosis in the lower limbs and this causes obstruction of the pulmonary blood flow and sudden death.